Welcome to WP EasyCart. In this final video of our introductions, we're going to walk through how to do some final testing. Uh, this series, we walk through how to install the free edition, set up the pro trial, create your first product. Uh, we've discussed how to create option sets and put products into categories. Uh, we learned a little bit about the basic customization and then payment gateways, taxes, and shipping. Uh, so you should have at this point, if you walk through this series, a fully functional store with good products, with good setup for payments, and all the key financials that you need. So it's worthwhile to take time and do a final test on your system. So let's take a look at what you would do to, to do that. Uh, the first thing you can look at is in your payment gateway section. Uh, some of these are offered in a sandbox and what the sandbox is is essentially a test environment a place for you to do test transactions use fake credit cards and they will try to process the the payment accordingly so that it is just like a real live system now some of the sandboxes I would recommend uh, I think stripe offers a really good sandbox square doesn't really offer a sandbox and PayPal is really a hard uh, sandbox to use so I always say go live when you do PayPal um, in fact I always encourage everybody kind of to use live um, live gateways anyway always process your final test in a live situation with a live credit card refund yourself that way you know your store is up and running exactly how it should be but let's take a look at some of the key elements to uh, look at so I'm going to jump over here to my store. When we go to the shopping cart, uh, we want to see items going into the shopping cart. You should be able to update the quantities and you should see totals changing. You sh should see all the settings working uh, that you have enabled. If you start to see different information here, the first thing you want to look at is caching caching and e-commerce doesn't matter if it's easy easy cart or anybody else it's just hard on e-commerce because you have shopping carts and a lot of data that caching systems don't like to play with well so if you ever see discrepancies in your shopping cart I always say go find your caching programs get rid of them turn them off they don't work well with with e-commerce uh, then you can slowly enable them if you need to later on. Uh, as we go through checkout, okay, we want to make sure we can actually get good addresses. If you've limited countries, make sure they're showing up just what you need here. We should be able to put in address information. Let's go ahead and go to continue payment. We should be seeing after the addresses good taxes, good shipping, this is your final confirmation page so test different addresses to make sure shipping is working that your tax situation is working for your products uh, you can also have and make sure that you have uh, shipping options over here showing up if you have live rates make sure that you can select different rates um, you know if you have different payment gateways um, I would say test them if you can uh, for example, I know uh, Stripe offers test cards if you're in the sandbox and this is a great one to use uh, to actually test and submit your order. When you're done submitting an order, you should be brought to a thank you page. Uh, this is going to be dynamically created for you so you don't have to do anything, but you should see a good order number. Uh, you should have it fire an email off to the customer so they will receive a email confirmation as well as admins and I'll show you where to set that up so if you get to this page and you actually get a thank you you should see it um, as a successful test you can view your order this is a customer viewing their order and they can see all this information print off their receipts if they need to and you should be able to go to your orders and see that order show up and you should be able to open the order verify that it's all the right data you're seeing shipping and taxes this is all good testing stuff to go through ok 
Okay, the order should be order confirmed if it's coming from Stripe. Some of the live gateways will say card approved. Uh, if you come back from PayPal, it should go to third party approved. Okay, third party pending, that's a good one to look for. This means people go out to PayPal, but they don't actually pay. And so think of them as abandoned users. And you got the order, but it's pending. And that's a different situation than if you have uh, credit cards right on your site. So it's key to look at the uh, order confirmation here. Uh, for sure, you want to look at that section. So again, look for the emails. Uh, if you want to set up or customize your final emails, you can go to settings. And under customize, you can go to email. And what you want to do here is actually set up where's your email coming from. So sales at mywebsite.com. That is always good to do so that it, it looks like the receipts are coming from you. You can add a custom name like um, John Smith. And you can do it in this format. We give you an example right here. And this will come across in a user's inbox as from John Smith. You know, or you could change it to my business name, whatever you have. Um, so you want to, you definitely want to come in here and customize your your order receipt from email. You can also add an admin email address, and there's going to be an email that fires off and goes to the user, but you may want to get one as an administrator, and so you might want to add your email here as well. Uh, you can you can also add more. Uh, maybe two of you want to receive emails for admins you can do that by adding them here with a comma. Okay, You can increase your order number. Uh, it might be a good idea to maybe start out at you know, something higher, maybe 5001, 10001, so that your order number doesn't start at 1. Um, there's some testing tools in here you can use, uh, as well as your from uh, Accounts. Let's say user people people go to their user accounts, and they try to reset their password. Uh, this that's where this account uh, customer account email address is. So that's another good one to go ahead and customize. Uh, down below here we have all the phrases inside of your emailer. Uh, you can go through and customize them. I would say at the beginning make sure you're just getting emails. That's a good test. As you make changes in here, just do it sparingly, do it carefully, then go back, place an order, test it, make sure you get the right email, it says what you need to. So good testing uh, with emailers is the important part. Now, WordPress often has a hard time sending email, and so a lot of people will install a, an SMTP plugin uh, so that they get better results sending emails. And you can just search, I'll go add new, uh, post SMTP. There's, there's a million free SMT plugins out there. But if you need to get better email delivery uh, or you're not getting emails during testing, then it's time to install one of these so that you get an email log. And WordPress will get become a little bit more reliable with email sending. So uh, good to know this little step. Uh, again, testing just involves walking through the whole entire checkout. Um, I would always encourage at the end, put everything in live payment gateways. Uh, I would go back in here. I would go to payments. I would turn these all live. I would check out with an actual live credit card. And I would just make sure everything is, is uh, working appropriately as well. So that's how I would test. If you have any questions, uh, again, always check our support um, on, our, on our site. We have documents, we have videos, uh, as well as good support for all of our pro and premium users. So hopefully these introductory videos are helpful, uh, and we'll see you on the next one.